Blue Valley is watching your every move. They know you're watching this video right now. Ever since MacBook Distribution Day last March, there have been lots of rumors floating around about what Blue Valley does and doesn't have access to through our computers. Well, I'm here to lay down the cold, hard facts. The only time the district ever looks for files is when administration or law enforcement asks them to. So everything you save to your specific computer is available to them, but only if it's necessary. Also, the rumor that they track everything you type is incorrect. The only time your typing gets sent to administration is if you type something that could lead to you getting in a dangerous situation. Last year, I really wanted to help students kind of open their doors to life after secondary education. Well, it gives the kids real world application. Um, I think that, you know, in a woods class, it really opens doors in trade and industry. And I think that's something that the district is really starting to see a need for. You know, not everybody is geared towards college. Um, college obviously op opens up a lot of opportunities for different career paths, but um, I'm a believer that not everybody is, you know, designed to go to college. And um, I think if you learn some skill sets in here, um, especially those that maybe don't have aspirations of going to college, you might find a niche and really enjoy it, dive deeper into it. You can find a career out there. because there's, there's countless jobs that are out there that are not being filled in trade and industry. And I think the stigma with that is it's a job that somebody has to do and nobody wants. Um, but I, I don't think kids realize, you know, if you're going into cabinetry, plumbing, electrical, they, they don't realize how well paying those jobs are. I'm Diana Claude. I teach English and Journalism at Blue Valley North here, uh, and I went to Blue Valley North. I am Erin Nathan, and I work at Blue Valley North High School, and I went to Blue Valley North High School. My name is Abby Cornelius, and I went to Blue Valley North High School. I mean, like, I think all my previous teachers inspired me to be a teacher. Um, Mrs. Weir was a big one. Um, and I think kind of gave me like the final push and like kind of boost of confidence that maybe I needed to like do it. I had always thought about being a teacher too and so I remember talking to Mrs. Weir uh, who was my senior English teacher about what I was going to do next year and I was kind of telling her what I was thinking about and she told me I should totally become an English teacher um, and she said then we could sit in the back of staff meetings and make jokes and laugh and I was like oh, okay that's funny because like even if I were an English teacher like I'll never get a job at North and then I remember my first day here we got called out on for like talking too loudly during the staff meeting so I was like oh, okay I'm true. Kind of just what I wanted to do my whole life. Wasn't really sure what I'd want to teach but um, I knew that I wanted to be a teacher. I had a lot of great teachers at North, um, in which I was fortunate enough to get to teach with a lot of them when I came back. Um, I did have one math teacher for three years in a row, um, Mrs. Cummings, and she was a wonderful teacher um, and just helped me a lot through high school, just personally and as well as um, getting through school. We had Homecoming Olympics back in 1992 and we're still doing it now. Um, a lot of the games are still the same um, and it just it's fun kind of seeing how it has evolved over the years but yet there's still a lot of things that are the same. A lot of my teachers were then my colleagues <laughs> which was a unique experience to have learned from people and then have them turn around and be your colleague. The um, guy who was the head of HR was retiring and he called me over the summer and was like, okay, you've been offered these jobs. I kind of need to know right now which job are you taking? <laughs> He's like, because I'm retiring. And I was like, uh, Library of Blue Valley North and just kind of, you know, blurted it out and uh, it was a great choice.
Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Who are you? <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. And we are your host, Dear Johnson, Connor Loftus. Uh, we're back for basketball talk. Yeah. Basketball. We are the high school equivalent of the 95 96 Bulls. Honestly, Jack Sheplak. Oh, geez. That man is so cold. I, I think that he can make it to the NBA and just yeah. be Alex Caruso with hair. Really? Yeah, I think I think he's gonna win EKL Player of the Year. No, yeah. no doubt. Almost no yeah, doubt in my mind. Dropping like twenty five a night. No doubt it's in my mind. A hands down, just yeah. beautiful. Gabe Dang, that man Shh. can shoot. Shh. All right, lights out. I'm telling Come you on. that if we are able to put the team together and go in the right direction towards mm -hmm. the state championship, that man has a chance to make a difference. All right, he is going to be pulling up from the line. And just nothing but net every single time. Gabe, shoot. All right, I'm just gonna go out on a limb here and just say, Cade Bohannon has to be one of the cutest people. Oh, I've ever seen. yeah, no doubt, my mind. The, the opponents are getting distracted. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The opponents' girlfriends are getting distracted. Yeah, it's just. He's just cute. There's, he's so, he, he's so there's, cute. There's, and he's left-handed. Like yeah. what? What can't you like about him? He's blonde, left-handed. He can play ball. Mm -hmm. What can he do? Come on. Those pinstripe socks that oh, yeah. Sean wears oh, day yeah. in, day out. Yeah. Those are like Popeye's spinach, okay? He like, puts on the stripes and he is a new person. In the hallways, he's this nice, jolly old guy, you mm -hmm. know? But on the court and on the Shh. field, that man is a competitor. Different man, different man. When it, he puts those socks on, it is a new Sean Henderson. You know what it reminds me of? Chick fil A sauce. The Chick-fil-A sandwich. Oh my, that's, Bam. that's perfect, right there. Perfect duo. Those pinstripe socks and shot. I, yeah. I just, I don't understand. Like Those it's pinstripe just. Pinstripe socks are Chick-fil-A sauce. You know. Oh, oh, the dark horse of the game. My guy, Nicky B, Nick Blackford. Oh, yeah. Don't sleep on him now. He'll come off the bench and give you a cool eight mm -hmm. points. That man is a force to be reckoned with when mm -hmm. he's on the court. Like you always got to know where that man yes. is because if you don't know where Nick Blackford oh, no. is, he's already stolen the ball. Exactly, from exactly, you know, you exactly. Got... Jack Souter, soccer commit what to the University of Colorado, Colorado Springs, and honestly, the way this man has been sh showing himself on the court this mm -hmm. year, mm -hmm. why is he playing soccer? This man I, I... should be playing basketball and basketball yeah. only. Like I'm not. I'm not taking away his soccer greatness. This man is great at soccer, mm -hmm. but when he's on the court, he's a whole new animal. That is Jack Souter. Yeah. All right, he is athletic, tall, yeah. good-looking, fast, well-conditioned. Can start the fast break. Mm -hmm. Dish it out to a big man. Dish it out to a yeah. shooter. So he can shoot himself. Don't I get don't it twisted. Know. He can shoot it too. But just mm -hmm. he's just an overall great player. Yeah. He's a leader too. Leader, he's yeah. every single thing. No that doubt you in my mind. A player is Jack Sauer. Compassion. Just yeah. loves the game. Loves the game. A lot of energy. Yeah. A lot of fight in him. Mm -hmm. See, our basketball team is kind of like a cheeseburger, right? Mm -hmm. You need all components of the cheeseburger yeah. for the cheeseburger to be good. Yeah. All right. You got the meat, right? Mm -hmm. Those are our players. Yep. All right, you got your Sean Hendershots, mm -hmm. Nico Taylors, those mm -hmm. guys that are just gonna ball out on the floor yep. no matter when and where you put them. No there. doubt in my mind. All right, then you got the buns, yep. right? You gotta hold everything together. That's the coaching staff. Ryan Pfeiffer is our buns for our burger. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with this analogy, but I'm gonna keep going. All right. Then you got the lettuce, the oh, tomato, yeah. Yeah. the cheese. That's your pieces. All right. That is your Mr. Masterson's, mm -hmm. your fans. Those are the mm -hmm. extra parts yep. that make your cheeseburger. Yep. What makes a cheeseburger? I think the BB right. and Stable is the best. Uh, yeah. The best in the EKL. Like I, mm -hmm. I. We I, gotta get I, a decibel I, meter or something yeah, out I, there. Like, I'm not interested in the Chiefs, if I'm being honest. Yeah. The school you're in right now doesn't matter. There is an after because you have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself in any direction you choose. You will be set free, wondering how and where about things you will want and those who dare. It's opener there, in the wide open air, for people just waiting, waiting for a bird to sing, or a ship to crash, or a phone to ring, or a test to pass, or a winter to spring, or a break, or waiting for you to do your thing. Just be like, put me on the North Report. Hey, put me on the North Report.